Hi guys, today we're going to address something that people who don't experience it don't tend to understand. They tend to judge for. Um, my last video kind of involves it because that was in memory of a fictional character, Tom Clarkson. So we're going to talk about being emotionally attached, sometimes too emotionally attached to fictional characters because people who are normal people don't understand it, they laugh at us, they take the mic and just find it ridiculous that we can get upset or feel all these emotions for someone that isn't real. So on that note, you should always get some genius in comments on anything when anyone has been passionate about characters or about the fandom or the world that it's in. Someone being like, oh come on, it's not real. They're not real people. Like, so? Like these characters, we're so invested in them and their worlds, they're real to us. That's the whole point in our fandoms, like we are so involved, we are passionate about these, about these worlds, these books, films, TV programs, anything, anything with characters, we're so involved. We do feel pain for these characters, we do feel pride, we feel so, so much that all the things you would feel for people in your own lives, we can feel them for characters. It's exhausting, it is painful, but it's a thing. So like, my last video was in memory of Tom. Six years ago, Tom Clarkson died on Mortal Road. That was agony, watching that. I still can't watch the episode without bursting into tears. And I'm not the only one. I know that for a fact. And that's just how we are. But then, like last year, I got majorly judged by someone for mourning Tom. Because he's fictional. Your point being, <laughs> like, I have, I feel more of an emotional connection with these fictional characters than I do with a lot of people I know in real life. Like, do not miss. Like, I, I will defend them faster than myself, honestly. Sorry, I'm tired. Yeah, it's not always sad, like, yeah, if something bad happens to a character, we can then, like, go see a gif or a meme or fan or whatever. Be like, I'll write in the feels, because it does hurt. And we will sob our hearts out, we will grieve if a character we love dies. Because we feel like we genuinely know them. Like it might as well be someone in our own lives. Then it can be other things too, like feeling proud of them. Like so many times, the example that comes into my head is Water the Road again. It's a thing. Water the Road on the Brain. <laughs> Just about every character on that thing, I think I've felt some pride for. Like, Casey, the kid who got me into Waterloo Road. So many times I felt so proud of her. And way, way, way back, going right to the start, feeling, I, I felt it for all those characters. And right, right at the end, Dale. 
We all know I loved it. When he came, when he came back in the last episode, I felt so proud of him. I genuinely proud of this character. I know he's fake. It doesn't stop me. And other people feel all these things too. It's what we, it's what we do. Like if you go on even Google Images, you don't even need to go into Tumblr anymore. But especially on Tumblr, it is filled with real emotion for fictional characters and for fandoms. It's a genuine thing and people who don't understand it judge because that's what people do if they don't understand something they make fun of it or they judge for it they don't like it but I mean I'm used to all this I get dodgy looks and little comments on pretty much a daily basis oh well let them We do feel for these characters and we ain't gonna stop. See you guys. Don't be ashamed to feel anything for for someone just because they're from a book or they're from a TV programme or a film. Let yourself feel the emotions. Might leave you broken. Might not. <laughs> If it does go online, other people will do it with you, it's fine. <laughs> yeah. Go and embrace the feelings for fictional characters, spread the love for them, and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys!